In the first three episodes, we've learned about Eagle Brook's core beliefs, our values, our purpose, and our mission. These layers of our vision culture pyramid never change. But what can and does change from time to time are our strategies and goals. These layers help define where we are going and when and how we're going to get there. Let's check back in with Dale. So Jesus came with a mission. That's our mission. This is our purpose relationship. So the question is, how are we going to do it? And that's strategy. What are the strategies that Eagle Brook uses to fulfill our mission? And if you've noticed anything about Eagle Brook, there's not a lot of ministries offered here. It's very, very simple, and there's a reason. We use a filter whenever we're launching new strategies. And the filter is, uh, we want to do these three things, the, the stuff we do best, the things we're passionate about, and the things that give us success. And if we do that, I think we actually use strategies that work. But let's define this, because what we do best is unique to Eagle Brook, um, and that's relevance. We think we can be really, really good at creating experiences and environments that it's easy for you to invite your friends to. It's amazing, it's life-changing, it's real, it's authentic, uh, it's inspirational, but most of all, I can invite my friend, my neighbor who doesn't know God. The passion here at this church is transformation. And primarily, the number one thing is that people would follow Christ. And then after that, we have four more G's about growth and groups and gifts and generosity. But we are most passionate about people following Christ. Success is ownership. Ownership of my own faith, ownership of, I don't just come to church anymore to consume, but I come to church to actually contribute and be part of the ministry, and maybe even ownership for what God's doing around the world. But this is key. We think the greatest success is when there's ownership for the vision culture. And we've made mistakes. We've launched new ministry strategies that really were transformational. The problem was, I couldn't invite my neighbor to it. It was a little too much, or just not friendly enough. It wasn't warm and welcoming. It wasn't amazing to my neighbor who doesn't know Christ. I couldn't invite him. So it was transforming some lives, but in the end, the people involved in that ministry, their ownership was for the ministry, not for the church. Their ownership was for a curriculum, not for our vision culture. So we launched this ministry and let people run with it that really violated these three principles. And so we introduced kind of a bad strategy and then had to start to change that. We want to do strategies that you can invite your friends to that will change their lives and eventually create an owner in the vision God has given this church. Finally, after strategies, is goals. And that's really, hey, where are we going? And when are we going to get there? Where are we going? When are we going to get there? How are we going to do it? What are we actually doing? Why are we doing it? And who are we anyways? And what's kind of interesting, you have to be careful when you set goals. They have to be meaningful goals. And we set all of our goals in our values. Why? Because these are the behaviors we want to see happen in people's lives. This is the transformation we're looking for as a church. Now I want to talk to you about something. One of the differences between Eagle Brook and another church is that most churches, you enter in this way to the church. If you believe what we believe, if you behave the way we behave, if you can somehow talk about God in a way that we're comfortable with, and you tend to worship in a way that we're comfortable, you're welcome to come to our church. 
And ironically, they're expecting unchurched, godless people to know how to behave in church, and they just don't know how to do it. So uh, most unchurched people don't feel welcome coming to churches. Eagle Brook has said, we're going to use strategies that are so amazing, so invitational, so you can come as you are. Come broken, come addicted, come wherever you are at in your life and meet Jesus. And when you meet Jesus, then you'll be restored to God. And then let's get about changing the way you live. And now let's ground you in your faith so you're solid. And then you can go out and invite your friends and neighbors to this church that is amazing, that'll lead them to Christ, lead them into a relationship with God, and help their life change. That's really a huge difference between Eagle Brook and another church.